Hey guys, Insanity here, and today I'm going to be making this tutorial on how to get an Adobe Illustrator file to basically be compatible with Cinema 4D. So, and this is, you know, generally for the purpose of clan logos. Um, and I have some here, such as um, logos for Supra. Um, these are many different logos that I just have. My friend Monkey's logo. Um, basically, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you, so open up Adobe Illustrator, I have CS6 here, and first of all, new, and um, just make this, and basically, um, I'm just going to make a quick logo as an example. Um, so yeah, pretty much. Once you 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 have your uh, your logo made, um, and I'm just messing with this real quick, just to see what I can make. Um, yeah. So this is what what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into Cinema 4D. And we're gonna make this three dimensional. And um, the whole point of Adobe Illustrator is obviously to illustrate, you know, as it says. But most people do use it for, you know, because clans, clans are a big thing now on YouTube. And um, a lot of people make the logos in Adobe Illustrator that way. Uh, they can be imported into Cinema 4D to use, basically, with, um, you know, so they can be used uh, in intros and many different things. So all I'm doing right now is um, this may work, it may not work, um, but I'm just trying to make a yin yang, a yin yang right now. I don't even know if this will work because most of the time when I try it, it doesn't. Um, it did actually, and uh, ooh, not good. Basically, fill that. If we do just that one, and then, so now I have a yin yang here. Um, basically, from here, uh, you file, save as, save it wherever you want. I'm gonna call it yin save and I'll rename it with .ai just click save again and now make sure you change the version to a, a, uh, Illustrator 8 because any other Illustrator Cinema 4D can only read it Illustrator 8 so just click OK OK and it'll create the file down here now if you're borrowing an AI from somebody else um, and you don't have Adobe Illustrator, it won't say AI on it, it'll just have like a default file uh, look to it, but basically once you have that, uh, this is something I was doing earlier, so I will make a new thing. Drag the AI into Cinema 4D, it's gonna say, come up with this, make sure you have connect spleens on, um, I have it set to centimeters, and make sure the scale is 1, click OK, and here we go. It'll import. And um, you have your your logo right here. Now if we want to make this three-dimensional, um, as you can see, there's three paths. Even though they're named 2, 4, and 8, there's still only three of them. And basically what we can do with these is we can make each individual one have their own three-dimensional properties or the whole thing as a whole. So I will show you how to do that right now. So if we want to make the thing as a whole, come over here and make an extrude nerves. Now make your, in my case, the ying. Um, it could be named anything. It might be named null. That's the default. Over here you can see null is what that symbol is. Um, so mine's named ying. Drag your logo and make it a child of the extrude nerves. So make sure the arrow is pointing down. That'll make it a child. Then click on the extrude nerves, and if you go over here to object, 
I do not know how to pronounce this. I'm just gonna say I'm getting messed with this. I'm gonna say Jesus Christ. I'm gonna say Hera Hera Alright. Hit that check mark and basically it's going to make it three dimensional. I'm not sure exactly what all these lines are here. Probably something weird, but if you go over here, um you can look from the side angle basically right here if you change this it's just making it thicker um, and uh, if you're very new to Cinema 4D if you don't know how to basically look around like this I don't know if there's multiple ways but the way I know how is you just hold down the number three on your keyboard and um, this works with on the numpad and um, just the normal line of numbers and you could just look around, change the angle, and um, yeah. And as you can see, it when you render it, it's just a circle because each one doesn't have its own individual properties. So to do that, make sure this is not a child anymore. So just drag it off. Now, as you see, there's three paths here. So we're gonna con copy, C Control C, and then Control V twice to make them these. Now drag each individual path on their own extrude nerves and by default it'll make them three-dimensional so you actually don't have to click Hera Chikal. Um and then what you can do is you can go like this no okay this is a very strange oh this is where they intersect and I have this weird thing so you can actually delete that which I'm going to do now and that one this side basically is a um that's part of the ying the yang whatever you want to call it um come out more um as you can see these individual circles in the center don't have their own paths and that's just because in adobe illustrator they're part of this whole shape um if you wanted to make that separate shape you know that you just do that but uh, for the time being we have these as individuals so now you have individual ones and you can change you can actually go up on an angle and then you can go out on the side and then it'll create this very strange looking um, you know what you got here and then if you want to you can put different materials on them and what you do is you put the materials on um, the individual nerves so you could put them on there and that selected both of them but you could also and then put the blue one on that one and then when you rendered it this is what you would have which is actually a pretty cool looking object to be honest it actually looks pretty cool and I'm sure if you add a light you can get different lights light on it and um, you can drag that out you can go like that and um, get different light angles on it and that looks that actually looks really good and I'm sure if you added a shadow it would even look even nicer so then you have shadows of that on this and there you have it you have a logo uh, you can add a background if you want so we could just make this white and then you have a, a nice logo in Cinema 4D. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like any more tutorials on pro, uh, programs from Buju to Cinema 4D to different Adobe programs like Photoshop, After Effects, or Adobe Illustrator, um, I'd be happy to do those tutorials. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and favorite the video if you need it for later. So. It is, I've been Insanity, Gamer Pros HD, and I'm out. Peace.